recording. Fuck. <laughs> so, for the VOD, hey, Glyscare in the future, uh, what you have done so far, you have done openings, you have done Fodog doing backstory stuff with Lizardmans, uh, everyone in the party was cringe and late, except for me. Hey. Yes, yeah. Fake. Uh, fake news. So true. No. Also remember to ban Dalen for the next campaign. What? <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yeah. Homunculus, first watch. Homunculus? I'm trying to remember, does Homunculus even sleep? No. Oh, yeah, you never told you, me. Did you ever give him a name? Uh. I should give him a name when I wake up. Yeah, that's crazy. So I think how the homunculus works is it's unconscious when you're unconscious. Oh. Uh, well, double watch. Double watch, alright. This man's gonna have double the rolls. Damn. As you're able to hear something creeping around the camp. Oh shit. Go ahead and give me a perception check. What is my perception? My perception. It's a plus six, okay. This dude's perception. It's lower than mine. Okay. So here's mine, which is a nat 20. Jeez. And here's the Hummer. 13. Damn. Perceiving hella good. Man. You shall perceive. So, as something moves around the edges of the camp, attempting to avoid your gaze, you're able to pinpoint exactly where it's hiding, as it seems to duck down into a bush. I, I raise my bow, I'm like, alright, stand up. I don't want any trouble. A tiefling. Well, you're gonna... Specifically, you're gonna have some trouble, un unless you get into this light. Of course. You, uh, the tiefling will step forward. He seems to be in a sort of trench coat style of clothing. You'll have to forgive me. I've been traveling for some time now and I haven't had anything to eat. I'm gonna try to uh, incite this man. How does he look? Does he look travel worn? Or is he pulling pull, pull my leg? Uh, because the trench coat covers a very large majority of his body, you're not able to tell, like, if he's, like, super, I guess, like, thinly or whatever. Um, but you are able to tell that the trench coat itself does seem fairly dirty. Like, he has been traveling for some time. Uh. Probably should have you roll for that. Insight? Uh. Yeah, go ahead and roll me an insight. To get the, uh, extra Omega lore bits. Okay. Ooh, that's me at night. Nineteen. This dude's fucking high roll. What the hell? Alright. I thought you were able to tell the previous information that I gave you before. As well as the fact that this man definitely does not seem to be from around here as a whole. Well, I guess me and you are a little bit similar. We ain't f from this continent. <sighs> so you're able to tell that easily. Yeah, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Galahad. I'm a detective from Zeaflam. I'm currently looking for certain bounty hunters and criminals in order to bring them in. Oh. Well, who are you looking for today? Well, at the be behest of a baron, I'm looking for a man named Fodog, and in addition to that, I'm looking for someone who has been in quite the pain in Zeeflem's side as of late, a man by the name of Galadon Glacies. Hmm. Oh well, we're looking for uh, that, that, that Fodog guy too. Hmm. Oh really? We had him, but then uh, I did the different bounty hunter, stole him from us, so we're trying to go get that back. 
I see. Perhaps we could form a temporary alliance then. It's possible. And at this point, I do like lower my bow. Scoot down the log so he can take a seat at the fire. <laughs> Thank you. You will take a seat then. Yeah. So, I must ask, what brings you all the way out here, other than searching for your friend? Well, actually, that's a bad question. Yeah. Well, mm, I forgot that you were already said that. Thing. That's my bad. <laughs> Plus, I never said he's my friend. I said we were looking for him too. So, what's your connection uh, to Podog? Uh, I knew him for like a day, and then I found out his 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 bounty was uh, fifteen thousand. Amazing. Although that does yeah. seem to be a bit outdated. Outdated. Correct. You see, the way bounty hunter laws work here in Narapel is that. People like me from Zeeplum are not allowed to cross borders for bounty unless it goes o goes equal to or over twenty thousand gold. <laughs> Par pardon, pardon me. What? How how much is it now? Here, he will open his trench coat a bit, and for just a moment, you will see the flash of several knives and daggers and various other weaponry. Mhm. Mm uh, hold on, I'm getting text. Uh, and he will pull out what seems to be a new flyer. This one seems to be on much new paper, rather than the old yellowing, torn look one that you had before. And he will hand it to you. It seems to have a incredibly accurate sketch. It's a picture of Fodog on it. Uh huh. And he is wanted, dead or alive, by the barons of Ringtoo. And. What's the number? 21,000. Woohoo! Seamus will have like a slight cough fit and compose himself just... Well then. Oh, are you alright? Yep, oh, yeah, just... It, uh, drinks my water skin. You know, slime mimic, fire. Gets your lungs. I was aware slime mimic were in this forest. I done quite a bit of it research worked. coming in here. I had never heard of its appearance. I never saw it until now. Uh, but it's gone, thankfully. It's a little uh, fire. It hurt, my friends. Uh, they are quite weak to fire. Hmm. Formerly, I had a partner who was one. They were quite, quite the brilliant genius, though they got a bit carried away in their work. Wait, wait, wait. Your, your partner was a... Was yes. A Ooh, hold on one, one second, and I pull out I pull out the core. So you know how to uh, reactivate this? Then he will shake his head. I'm afraid not. Dad. He will pull out a small blue, a very small sort of blue bead. This was my friend Tulip's core. Uh. Over time, they grow smaller without having any power. Currently, that is why I'm attempting to find these things now. If I'm able to find the information I want, and possibly even these bounties, I could find someone to help bring her back. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've tried feeding it, I've tried watering it, I've tried pl planting it like a seed. <laughs> Nothing. As far as I'm aware, you likely have to get an incredibly large amount of meat for it to do devour overnight. Or make a visit to a Lebellian priest. I hear that the ones in Glane are rather unique. Hence why mm. I took this opportunity to travel here. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'll put it back. And, uh. At this point, Homunculus Seamus is just st sitting next to me, just. plop. As, as the awkward conversations there. Interesting clone you have. Uh, yes, uh, interesting thing. Um, a, a little bit of a dungeon exploration, and now he's stuck with me. Intriguing. 
which I wouldn't I still find funny as hell because they see me, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good sort, handsome man, you know. Y'all have to lean forward. Huh? Moment, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I've never heard of a creature like this. It likely doesn't st seem to be any form of slime in it. It's not. I, I believe. Tell. He will sort of like lean over to the right. It doesn't cast any shadow either. I believe it's my shadow. I think. I don't know. I'm I'm not very very magical person, and this all got thrust upon me all very immediately. <laughs> so, something something from the shadow. Something something handsome devil. <laughs> okay, he's running. You have to apologize. I try and take notes on whenever I find something new. I've never quite seen anything like it. Yeah. But either way, I suppose, given our common interests, we could likely create a sort of deal. A uh, deal. Go on. I'm listening. Well, for one, I am someone who has quite a bit of information under their belt. It's one of the many skills I have as a detective of the Ziaflan Empire. I know, I believe I might know where your friend, or our friend for now, Fodog may be. In addition to this, if you wish to revive that orb that you have, I believe if I could find, if I can find the Lebellian Priest, I'll be more than happy to send you their location, so that you may revive yours as well. Hmm. And all this in exchange for... 75%. That's a lot. Hmm. Well. We'll have to discuss the rest of that in the morning. Because I do have two other com comrades who I believe I'm okay. trying to get... Take are trying to convince me to not trade him in, but... Well, out of curiosity, do you know if that thing of yours can shapeshift? Uh, I just look at Shadow Seamus, and I'm like, I honestly don't know. Hmm. Can you? The creature will scream. I'll take that as a no. I see. Well, if you do end up figuring out a way, you could possibly just offer up a fake to the king. Hmm. That is, that is possible. Though that's just assuming you wish for this Fodog fellow to truly live. Yeah. Another idea is that if we do end up finding that camp, it is very likely that that other men fellow I mentioned will be there as well. Galadon. He's quite yeah. a famous bounty hunter and a ter considered a terrorist in the Empire of Siaflam. Specifically... So he's a bounty hunter as well. Correct. Currently, his bounty stands at about 13,000. He's not nearly international, as the people that want him are not that desperate. However, 13,000 is more than enough to make someone's life drastically different. Oh yes, it is. So, should we find this Galadon fellow? I will take the entire bounty for that information, though. And should we encounter each other again, I will be more than happy to supply you with any information that I have. It's always nice to have a tell. That is true. That is very true. Although, I got a little bit of a wager, though. Oh. Yeah. If me, or my shadow, 
gets the final blow on this Galadon. We at least want a thousand. Hmm. A measly one thousand of thirteen. I'll take you up on this wager. However, Nothing. if I am to get the final blow, what do I get out of it? Hmm. Eighty. Ninety percent of faux dogs. You have a deal. And before I forget, mainly because it's the main reason I came here, his stomach will growl. Do you have any food I could borrow? <laughs> oh yes, I, I do have a little bit of a ration. And I, I pull a little, like, like a day's of rations from mine. Any wheat? Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I'll take rest now. Alright. It's a pleasure talking with you. Aye, uh, you and as well. Galahad will finish eating and sort of nap, I guess. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to uh, Syrian and Daedalin, you know, to go, you know, the next watch. But, uh, I'm gonna talk to each one of them. And, uh, yeah, pull them into, uh, my tent for a second. Just like, yeah, yeah, come here, come here, come here. Back up, back up. Oh, I'm awake, I'm awake. Yep, yeah, I'm just dragging both of you on my tent. Just up, come here. We do have a little thing yeah. to discuss. Shush, shush, okay. shush, 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 shush. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ignore our new friend. Shush. Yeah. I bring them both into my tent. I, I have uh, Shadow Seamus on the outside just chilling, watching the fire. Um, hello, Siri. Are you here? Hello? Yo, Journey. I believe they're dead. Or are they muted? I'm here. Hi. What is it? I mean, I know I'm muted, but... <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not in this episode yet. Oh, no! <laughs> you in? They're still are you passed awake? Down. Hello? You in? I'm just standing with them, just like slapping them, just like, "Are you awake?" Boom, 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 boom. I'll give them five minutes, and then they forfeit their rights to decide if Fodog is sold into slavery or not. <laughs> okay. And I'm N now that we're in my tent, you know, make sure we're not being spied on. Uh. So, Dalen. Let's yeah. 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 So, what is uh, so we have a new friend, right? First, you saw him out there. He's a, de a detective. A detective. And, and and apparently he's find trying to find Fodog and the bounty hunter that stole him. Fodog's bounty, by some international law, has let people from other continents come and get him, because now it rose to twenty one thousand. Poor oh, shit. And but... this bounty hunter that stole him is 13,000. <laughs> hey, you are a sleep. Hey. You fucking bounty hunter, you detective bitch. And I've got a, I've got a homunculus guard standing guard of my tent. <laughs> hey. Um, but, uh, so here's the thing. I like information. However, he wants to trade Fodog in and get like 90% of his bounty. 90. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I don't. Only only part of people who who's traded them in is me. If we do. Possibly. Um. However, he is he seems to be good health. In this battle, whenever we. Wait, what? Um. 
minimum eight? Oh, he, no. He's, he's inquisitive rogue. Oh no. <laughs> What's minimum eight of what? Minimum eight on that nine I rolled earlier, so it's a sixteen now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, what's the 16 for what? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> well, well we, we, we are whispering in my tent, and my Monko's is standing guard. Yeah. So, yeah. He's a good listener. From, like, 30 feet away through a tent? Yeah, he's goaded on the sticks. See, uh, Siren will finally he's wake up. Played an inquisitive room. Siren, hey. I keep slapping you. Hey, Siren. Stop slapping him. Hey, think you did enough damage for today. I haven't slapped him for like five minutes. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Please. Okay. I give one final slap. Yes, Siren. Hey. Mm. Look. Who is that? What? Uh, anyways, in, in, in my tent we go. Um... Yeah, so anyways, that, my friend, is a friend. They're a detective from a, another, another continent, because Faux Dog's bounty has shot up to 21,000. 21,000? That's a lot, yeah. but that's a catch. <laughs> um, the catch? Come on. That? It is quite a bit. The, the catch is, uh, he he wants, well, in the bounty hunter that stole Faux Dog is worth 13,000. The catch is he wants, like, 90% of Faux Dogs and, and almost all of the bounty hunters. Oh, that doesn't seem particularly fair. It doesn't. I don't know we can trust him if he takes that hey. big of a cut. Hey, that ear of deceit is only when they're trying to tell if they're if we're lying. You look like an ear of deceit. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was tell I was telling the truth you when he uh, was the ear of You're lying about but how loud you are by whispering, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't mean that he's listening to us, because that is a different ability. Continue. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, only person here who's gonna trade photo again is me. If we do, if we if we do, if we do, I think we should get a yeah. bigger cut. But he's good. But he's good ally. He's got good information. I'm. My problem is still, if he's alone, you can't do anything. So yeah. why should we give him that big of a cut? Well, he he might be good in combat, you know. When, when we go and find them, you know, and and I don't say anything, but I do give like a little hidden motion of, with my neck of just you know, just, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. but he is a good, you know. And I do say a little a little louder after that. I mean, he could be of use, you know. Yes, yes, in the future. As I keep hmm. on doing the little h h hidden hand motion of just slicing my neck. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it has come that far, then yeah, maybe. I mean, out we outsourcing help, you know. Mm. <coughs> yep. so. Let me just download it to your watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fuck to sleep. This is already yeah, time, my man. I, I think I have to do. Yeah, um, true. Walk away back to my tent. Good luck with that. Well, I guess it's my time to watch. We go outside the tent. Still a little sleepy. Ugh. And s sitting next to you on the thing is Shadow Seamus until I fall asleep, in which he'll just fall down. <laughs> He's snooping. That's weird. He's sleeping. <laughs> the shadow's sleeping. 
Well, I. But yeah, uh, Dalen. Yeah. You are now on watch. I'm you get on a watch. good look of the detective mans that came across your party. But overall, nothing seems to come across you in, during the night. Uh, I should. I have to roll, right? So what was it? Again. Uh, 1d20 plus. Um, perception, right? Mm hmm. And still sleepy. <laughs> Watch me occur. They're in their turn now, Rick. Mm -hmm. Your turn. My I'm turn. tired. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. I will go out on my watch. <laughs> go to my tent. Good. Which world is perception? Yeah, it was wisdom. Perception. Jumped. Unfortunately, it is that time of hour. As you sleepily make your rounds of the camp, something creaks from overhead. A slow ticking noise as something crawls down from the trees above. And unfortunately, you do not see it before it is upon the camp. As something will strike out at you. Do... Do I see what it is before it hit me, or...? It does, you do not, mm -hmm. as this is a surprise round. Mm. Oh no. I believe that'll miss. Oh, fortunate. Well, I assume I will call out for everyone else to wake up. Um, much, that, much that made misses, fortunately. Seamus, Dalen, there was something uh, attacking uh, me. What? Uh, fine. Fine? We're in danger! Wake up! I'm awake! Can't move a little quicker. I'm, I'm right next to you, what do you mean? Shadow Seamus is right next oh, to you. Oh wait, you have 13 AC. <laughs> Oh, so unfortunate. That hit. That's it. Oh, oh no. Good. Fourteen damage on Siren. <laughs> Wonderful. Did you? Oh yeah. Everyone else is level three. Siren, uh, Journey, did you never up, like, level up your character? I thought I did that last session. Your your sheet is still level two. What? Damn it! Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I clearly changed my sheet. No, you oh, didn't. You, yeah. must, you must have not saved the stuff. Because I'm looking at your sheet right now. It says Warlock level 2. You still have 12 HP. I don't know what you're talking about. You're so, clearly changing it. Where's my HP? Did I do it? What's my HP again? This is what I'm looking at right now. I'm clearly well, saying things. Let me just. Oh, uh, let me shake something. HP Your wins. HP should be 400. Or not 400, 24. I don't know what the hell I said. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fine to me. 400 HP? Wrong. 24 HP for you. Well, let me shake. Hey, I thought I had 
Yeah, 24. Still has 34. Yeah. Either way. Oh, I assume I will still cry out as I'm hit. Yeah. There's a large, bony claw, or more so, a needle-like appendage strikes through your arm, piercing you. And as the group comes out, you see what appears to be the remnants of the spider you killed. Oh no. Spider, what? Maybe, maybe now would be a good go time for a bit of uh, you know, fire. What the fuck is my song, goddammit? Hold on. Explode! So, but we blew up the spider! What you see well, before you is a massive bone-like creature. A sort of spider-esque skeleton akin to the thing you saw before. However, instead of a blob uh, existing in its place, is a long snake-like creature instead. With an incredibly long uh, sort of neck designed for striking out at prey. And this combat will resume once more. Oh. Man, the fuck did this spider come from? God, it's back. God. Back? What the fuck you mean back? Why don't you kill shit the first time? Um, maybe fire would be a little bit good right now, but I'm stepping back before you do anything. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. We should be rolling out. Oh. Twenty-five. I get. Cool. I get. Uh, awesome. Oh, you. Oh. Shadow. You don't. I don't think He's you add your. You don't add your proficiency to initiative rolls, by the way. Uh, oh. I. Have to, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seamus. I. No proficiency. I. I. am a pirate. I add my. my, my oh yeah, you add charisma. Because your you're level three. Oh. Damn. And this. One, and the second one's shadow. Eleven. Galahad real quick. Ah oh, yes, as our new friend just thrust in the battle this time. God damn it, put that person in the wrong spot. Wait, I just deleted really Sirius awesome. so fucking- God damn it! <laughs> Everything's going wrong on my initiative thingy. Hold on, hold on. Quick, combat, real time, attack! Ah. No! Bro, please. Bro? Less initiative than the last time, that's nice. Right, very well. Dalen, you get a surprise yes. you get a surprise round as a result of rolling a nat 20 on initiative. Hit him with it. The surprise round, by the way, just means you get like a free turn. So you get two turns. Piece awesome. of shit out of this thing. <laughs> So because I'm, I think I've been further away, gonna run to Theron. Real, real cool trick is lying down with my healing glove touching Theron. Because I thought he was pretty out there. Healing her first. With right. my healing gloves. Roll the eel. It was just 1d10. Okay. It's also 7. And yeah, it's a rush out bonus attack. I'm just gonna. Punch the 
Bauen die zwei? I don't know. Das ist ein Das ist wie ein Beast. Alright. Go into yeah. the hands. Let me, let me type. Typers. Moon two typers. That'll hit. Ah, uh, that's. Eight damage. Alright. Alright, go again. Go oh, again! <laughs> well, punching time. Wait, no. I gotta use the cross step first. Even better. What mm -hmm. the stuff and another attack with my unknown strike. Again. again. The two nines. <laughs> Fix again. God damn. This two attacking. The damage. The damage on the bone mech. Seamus. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first things first. I'm going to rush up with my rapier. I'm going to take a healthy stab at it. But bonus is... Okay. Does a 30 hit. Wait, what are you at plus 12? That's what my sheet says. I don't know. Rolled anvil. Okay, you're definitely not getting a plus 12 Wait. to fucking hit here. Uh, I'm you pretty sure... You read my sheet. Okay. You're adding some stuff twice. Um, because I both... I don't know. I imagine you have 20 decks, right? My decks is 19. Because that means you have a plus 4 to decks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, plus 4. And then with proficiency, you get another plus six. So you should only be getting a plus six to hit here. Why is this a d20 plus 12? It should not be a plus 12. I think you did some stuff twice on this. Oh, let me go back to edit. Because it definitely should not be a plus 12 on any of these. Let's see. Modifier. Oh, that's what I did wrong. On the modifier... There's six on that. Okay. Yeah, so that's a 24. Which still hits. Um, yeah, no, whatever that doesn't have what the modifiers are for. And it literally just made it seem as if my... Pretty much my, my, my weapon had become a plus six by accident. Unlucky. Which, which also means my skills. Uh, for some reason, I'm a plus sixteen to skills. I need to. Yeah, you should probably fix some of those. Ah, well, the skills will be half later. Yeah. So, yeah. So plus six, all that, yada yada. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah. And that also means. Let's see. I need to. Is the rogue basic sneak attack versus my other sneak attack? Before you roll that, the creature, on a reaction to you charging it, will whip its massive head around, and its eyes will focus on you and begin to glow with a bright, eerie yellow. Its claw, its frontal claws will lift, and it will make an attempt to parry your blade. Okay. And it will succeed. It'll succeed at 24? Oh, that bitch. Barely. It's a 25. <laughs> As you attempt to thrust forward with your blade, its two gigantic, 
bony claws will slam deep into the ground, locking your blade in place. Well, uh, I don't think I have any bonus actions right now, so yeah. It's probably gonna be my turn. Very well. I had's turn. Who is a bonus action to attempt to, to identify the creature? Let's see. Hey, look at how inquisitive rogue bullshit works. You just become Sherlock Holmes. That. Holy shit, it's high rolling though. Alright, so, that'll succeed. And along with that, Galahad will be able to point out a weakness of the creature. It may not be made of flesh anymore, but what it, but it is now nothing more than an undead corpse. If you're any form of holy light, blast it with everything you have. That's not his voice. Blast it with everything you have. Yeah, I completely forgot what his fucking voice was. Either way, I'm stabbing was. this thing in the face. I wonder where the holy guy is. Uh, I don't know where he is. Brazil. It's undead. Alright. We roguing. <clears throat> 20. The creature will rear up on its hind legs. And will attempt to parry once more. And this time, it will fail, leaving itself wide open for an attack. Am I? I had double stats for a minute. That <laughs> shit's all proper again. This dude was kind of cracked. <laughs> oh, he has the, the, the funny one. So we'll say holy fire? No, he says that. <laughs> it's was that Galahad or That was Galahad's going off. Oh, okay. okay. Oh shit, he is a high level rogue. 60 56. Alright. Shadow Man's. Actually no wait, I get bonus damage on that, so that should have been 36. Yeah, Shadow Man. That's a good smile. I know. Yeah. So, uh, damn it, he is in range. Yeah. So a Shadow Man is going to actually just straight up, uh, gouge his hands into claws. Let's see. Yeah. As y'all see, you know, razor sharp and huge claws come out of Shadow Seamus' fingers. And now he's going to, uh, attack. Very well. Uh, uh which, which stat for the attack is that? Oh, yeah. I believe the claws are strength. Okay, so it's only a plus four. Okay. Seven. Well, actually, you're, you're proficient in you're, you're proficient, your hands always, so that'd yeah. be the plus six. Because it's hands. <laughs> uh, does an 18 hit it, hit it? It will. And because it's reared up on its hind legs, it can no longer parry for the rest of this turn. No. Alright. And because I have friends who are within range. Uh. Okay. So that's gonna be. 2d6. Plus 2d6. Plus 2d6. Plus my strength. Which is four. Actually, no, uh, it's your. I oh, know that's not option. Yeah, strength plus four. Yeah, so that's gonna be um, two, two d six, 
So that's piercing, 2d6 poison, and 2d6, 2D6 sneak. The so 26 damage. Jeez. Poison. This is um, two of it. Oh, this is an undead creature. It cannot be poisoned. Ah. Put damage still. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, because my fancy footwork, uh, Shadow Shamus is gonna dip back 15 feet, and he can't attack me with a pretty axe. Oh, I can't make reactions in general. I'm on my hind legs. Oh, awesome. This boss's yeah. gimmick is that it revives after, and then it has uh, two reactions for parrying and shit. Uh, well, yeah. No, uh, Shadow Shamus dips by, and cunning action, bonus action, hide. The shadows. Six. I have 18 left. It's dead in the first round. Ew. Wait, uh, can I mark it first? Yeah, Shadow's turn over. You can. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna mark it. Do it. Yeah. Textbook. Yeah, we're well, no, done. Alright, it is marked. You may now make your attack. <laughs> Mark just means, uh,. We have advances. Advantage. Battle hit. Nice. Can I smack it with an Ultra Corner? You can. What is this? Uh, mm, mm. Huge! Damn, big damage. 16 HP. Bang! Oh. And at the end of its turn. Right, and will that be the end of your turn? Mm, yes. Very well. So, with one trapped beneath its claws, and another closer to it, the Bone Mimic will begin to rattle, and its claws will begin to swirl rapidly. For everyone who is in roll. melee range, give me a dexterity saving throw. Damn. To those who it attempted parries on, you must make this throw at disadvantage. So, just a dexterity thing for then, I guess. Well, that means Shadow Seamus is the only one here who's safe. Okay. Oh. Hey, what's my save? Natural 20. I have only natural 20. Holy shit. Oh, Siren, you're not in range of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, you, you were yeah, Eldritch flashing it from afar. Wonderful. Okay, and here's my disadvantage, which is an 18. This dude's a chad! Yep. Are you parrying? Oh. No, I did disadvantage because he parried me. And I'm oh. trapped my, my oh, blade okay, strap. Okay, okay. So, Obviously, you have to try for okay. I, I'll have all six I can let, damage, but... God damn, everybody got I can it. let go. I can let go with the blade at any time. However, I don't want to. It's my blade. <laughs> so half that damage to everyone? That'll be 17. Okay. 10 to Dalen, or 10 HP left on Dalen. Oh shit. We're doing wonderful. 16 left on Seamus. Forty-three left on Galahad. Shadow and Siren both don't take damage. And there's initiative. Dalen. Oh, that, that wait. That was also his attack, right? Yes, that was his attack. Antonel. I almost forgot it. So it literally got another attack from me. A world of uh, Oh, you get an attack off of him attacking? Hey, you get this? Huh? What'd you, what'd you say? You get an attack off of me attacking? Yeah, Sentinel feet. Is that how Sentinel works? Yeah. What? Um, Sentinel it's... is if, is if they attack somebody other than you. I attack uh, everyone. Don't, yeah, AoEs yeah. don't proc it, Sentinel. Oh, okay then. Never mind then. Wait, Dalen. So, 
first action, heal myself. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Ew. Then, we're gonna spend a key point for Flurry of Blows. So you have <laughs> two bonus, attack, bonus attacks. <laughs> I eat these. You're not gonna hit a single one. He's lying. Hit the ball. Uh, he's, he's also marked, right? So that means uh, advantage. No. She oh. used her uh, Warlock mark, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So no advantage. Okay, never mind then. Crescent's character has two marks. She has the warlock mark and then she has uh Bex -bex. the badge mark. Badge mark, okay. okay. I don't know warlock. <laughs> I don't know how to cast, but I just gonna attack him. Yeah, I killed. Alright, kill. that'll hit. Since uh Galahad said he eats uh his weakness is holy damage. I think he just he just touch that holy, right? Wait, what? He, he does uh, glow off it. it. Oh yeah, does do damage to undead. Damage against undead. Undead. undead, undead, yes. So hit him with that holy fist. Yeah. It's without modifiers because it's just, or if I take it, it's plus five to it or not. I don't know. DM, help. Wait, what? Is it? Is it the plus it. five because I attack him, or is it only one d10? Uh, it's you roll your d10 and you're uh, attacking with your dex mod, so it's d10 plus five. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. So right. nine for the first bonus attack. Then the second also hits. That's an eight, so 17. Wonderful. So, that's 34 damage. And Dalen, I must ask you, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, since I'm also attacking twice, I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna charge up the healing glove with both hands. Grab him! <laughs> no. Fucking splash to the ground. While dealing holy damage with the glove. Wonderful. You charge forward. Your glove shining with radiant brilliance. The creature goes to snap at you. To devour you whole. With its bony maw. However you leap upwards. And before it can react and try and snatch you out of the air. You slam downwards, smashing its skull to pieces. The creature roars with what little body it has left. It struggles and squirms like a headless chicken, thrashing about before eventually its body burns away to dust. Oh fucking stay dead. And that, Spider. at last, will be the end of the slime mimic. Wonderful, David. At least you're using your holy powers and not like people on fire. Yeah, I tried not to use the fire again. I don't know if Shavis mm -hmm. has another oil flask. I'm, I'm, I'm always got away. I've always got oil flasks. Oh See. God. Does everyone know right? I believe I am. <sighs> well, thank you for your tip, Galahad. It is my pleasure. You got info. Thank you for your assistance. You may consider it repayment for allowing me to eat and rest at your camp. You gave him food, Shamus. What? You gave him food? Yeah. Well, you did what? something good then. <laughs> a stranger into our camp 
I'm always a good soul. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, yeah. Go. Name one bad thing, a, a, a legal bad thing that I've done. Not quite illegal, but you almost killed us. And... That was by pure accident. Sure. Name one bad thing that I've done on purpose. Well, uh, selling off our sorry. friend, Frodoc. Hey, hey, he is a criminal. That might be true. <laughs> what pirate, though? Oh yeah, I yeah, forgot I mean, he was the pirate. I he only wants money. Totally forgot. Yeah. Hey, we are we, we were good pirates. We only um, got down those who were bad and those who needed it. Uh-huh. Never attacked women or children. We never did anybody who was good on a good mission. He always um, released the doctors. Uh-huh. And I was parted on a lot of that, because that was international waters, no no laws out there. If you were pardoned, that means it was illegal. No, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a, well, obviously, it wasn't illegal because I got pardoned for it. It was good night. Go go back to my tent. <sighs> Sometimes there's a question why I trust you. Shadow Tame Mess just gives a screech. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrifying emote. Jesus oh, Christ. I, I, I know. Right. I'm gonna go grab something to drink because my throat's a little bit dry. And <coughs> when I return, you'll have awoken from camp. And with the aid of Seamus and Galahad, you will make your way to the outpost. Time to get some smell the dog money. This way. I can't believe that a pulsar was old and his bounty has increased. Yeah. We also need to straight up kill. Her. Yeah. He's done quite some deeds, if that is. Yeah. He has to explain a lot. Yeah, we'll solve that when we get to it. Hmm. Although I still find it a bit suspicious that the detective happened to, to stumble upon us, of all people. Oh, well, he tried sneaking, but, uh, nothing could get, get past my eye. Who let him join us and try to sneak up on us? Okay. Uh, well, I, I figured if, if we're all on the same footing, at least having one extra, one extra hand is better to fight, as it just shown. That might be true, yeah. For now. Although I can't see the fight. Once we get Photog, then we'll, we'll talk later. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's It's gonna be a little hard to talk when the detective wants his money. No, oh, no, no. It'll be easy when, if he's dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Hmm? What, Photog? You can't struggle if he's dead. I mean, this whole point. I mean, did you not see the battleground last time? Perhaps. But I put some big ass fight for a little dwarf. Well, well a little dwarf is quite the burden. However, it seems he was quite easily overpowered. Yeah, but they probably just put some magic on him, probably. Yeah. Either way, it's best that we get going if we were to make it there. Judging by our current location, we should be able to make it there tomorrow by nightfall. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm not sure I want to be in this forest at night again. Yes, I have always heard that the knights in Glane are quite treacherous, though I never thought them to be quite this bad. Mm. To be oh, ambushed oh. by a slime in the neck of all things that have came back to life. Oh well. 
Easy come, easy go. Mm, I'm not so sure nice. about that, but as long as Try to keep up, short stuff. But I can fly. I was talking about you. I was talking, I was talking about uh, Galahad. Uh, sure. Everybody's short in comparison to you. I know, it's great. Especially me. Just jogging off in the direction. I will get to fly and follow. Galahad will grab his hat and will dash off. I'm pretty sure everyone in this group is just fast as shit except for Photog. Er, yeah, we are. Galahad and Shaman yeah. have fucking bonus action dash bullshit. Dalen has his bonus action dash bullshit. And then Sierran has 50 feet of flying. We dwarves have made for cross country. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that eventually. <laughs> He's coming. Man, I, can't, I can't wait till I get the fly. Oh, look, he's coming. Yeah. He's approaching. Oh, wait. Now I remember how that balance that out of the regard. <laughs> Alright. If he so, gets. A billion damage to one of us, probably. You break camp and continue northwest in search of your friend as well as the camp mentioned by Seamus and Galahad. The journey there is peaceful, with few interruptions, and thanks to Galahad's instructions, you were able to make quick time, and at nightfall of the following day, the outpost you were seeking is finally in sight. The outpost itself seems to be a grounded structure, a shocking sight here in Glane. As you make your way to approach it and get a bit closer, you notice a trail of ice, leading down from the top of a tree to the ground, leading to tracks similar to the ones you found a few days ago that seem to lead towards the outpost. Uh-huh. Good. Whoever this person is that has taken him hostage is quite the interesting fellow. Oh, uh, yes. Ice powers? Very mm -hmm. interesting. Down from a tree and the hooves and the hoof marks we saw before. Either a centaur or a man on a horse. Boom. Well, we don't know. I see you there, Tifa. Could you get us an aerial view of the place? I don't have a map, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I can draw one. <laughs> oh, well, that's in Syrian. Oh, dear. oh. Well, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> which, which I guess depends yeah. on if the DM has a map or not. Syrian, fly around so I can draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mm -hmm. gift you my magical powers of drawing. Use that MS paint. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and don't forget each and every fence. You look like a fence. It. Bitch, I'm built like yeah. a fence. Fucking no. sturdy. Uh, I don't know if sturdy would describe that well. No, no, I'm, I'm, as James knows, I'm fucking tall and stocky. Yeah, but the fences aren't mm -hmm. that tall. Yeah. I used to do football a little bit in Arkansas, so. Oh, wow. Stars are people on the map, by the way. Hella detail, wow. Yeah, I'm kind of godlike. I'm kind of the best artist here right now. Honestly. Where's the map? Where would that map at go? Map to the small up north. It's right there. Small. Oh, he's doing. It's a map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Oh. Obviously, he drew the map. The map of Narco. Quite skilled. <laughs> you tell so me, actually. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at drawing. Mega brain. 
it's gonna be all of us stick figures on the map, and then there's like a super detailed um chest sketch of a of Galaga. Damn. I mean, oh, wow. damn. That is Beautiful. gonna be a very nice cake. So, uh, the little circle thing outside wall, there are, you are able to see uh, what appears to be like three cabins, and the little rectangular image seems to be a sort of mini training grounds. Various dummies are stuck into the ground. However, there seems to be a rather fanciful swordsman uh, dueling one of the dummies who seems to have come to life and is using a wooden sword. Around the campfire, and that little area in the center, is a another detective-looking person, a similar tiefling to your friend Galahad. In addition to that, there's also a large scorpion-looking creature, as well as an orc. One of which, the scorpion, seems to be dressed in very fine robes, while the orc seems to be much more battle-hardened. His muscles visibly showing. Mm -hmm. Quite an interesting place. I never knew it was here. Yeah. Well, we don't see Fodog out here. He must be in one of the three cabins. So, the outpost itself is fairly small. Only about three or four cabins find their way here. And all of them are settled in a shockingly open area on the ground with a bonfire in the center. The wooden gate and walls stand tall behind you, but as you enter the camp, you feel a heightened sense of unease that has not come from the situation of entering this place, but from the grass, the trees, the flame, and the wind around you. This but place, did we enter? whatever it is, feels unnatural. And as if the forest yearns to devour it once more to reclaim its fallen children that were used in its making. Mm. That's the mm. sort of feel and look you get, uh, Sierra, from going over the camp and such. Mm. This is quite an interesting camp indeed. So, did, did you see Fodog at all? Any, anywhere? Mm, not that I know of. So he must be in one of the cabins. Probably. The place does feel odd. I doubt he wouldn't be there. Do you have an idea, though? It's my first time trying this out, but... I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it's the same here. I'll activate the shadow plane of my daggers to let me traverse the shadow plane. Alright. Am I now just gone from in front of them? Does not yeah. seem natural. You're able to see Seamus um, melt away into the shadows. And what? however, you're able to see him walk, sort of like, as if his shadow himself was moving. Yeah, uh, I'm going to- well, so, it, it is Nightfall though, right? Yes. There's two shadows yeah. of Seamus now. Yeah. But I'm going to make my way, because I'm very sure that I'm- on a different plane of existence, into the camp, hmm. and um, into, I guess, one of the cabins. Okay. Let's go. Let's go with the cabin on the very bottom left. Cause I know I I, I got to rush. Alright. In the bottom left cabin. Let's see here. You enter. What's? I believe you got changed it. If you don't, we got some changes in there. Got it. Thank you. I just got given food. Food, that's cool. It's schmecks. Ooh. Put that I had a lot stuff of over food. there. It's gross. I don't know what cheese it doesn't look like. Oh, this is what this is. I should have gotten. Okay, I didn't know that this was what this was. I thought a chicken fajita was like... Kinda of honestly like a quesadilla. A chicken fajita? Yeah. Yeah, ch chicken fajita is just a nice spiced chicken taco. That's not what I'm looking at right now. What? Well, it depends. Was it from a food truck or something? No, it's it was from uh, Maria's. Oh, Maria's other stuff weird, yeah. Yeah, like, what I'm looking at right now, I opened the box, right? Uh, and my parents was like, oh, hey, do you have cheese? If not, we'll get you some. 
Uh, or we have some in the kitchen. But there's nothing to use cheese dip on here? <laughs> and then, like, I open the thing. Hello. Like, here, come look at this. This is not a fajita. Uh, I can't fajita. see. This is not a fajita. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't Damn, think that this is that a, looks fajita. Like a fajita. Yeah, that's Shit. Are you like live? Because I'm not the only one here who can't see. Nope. I think for the time being, I'll take your word for it. You pop yeah. the picture. If the picture's blurry, I'm gonna laugh. Picture. Weird. Because, like. Hold on. If I felt like a fajita was. I legit don't see a picture. I mean, neither. Unfortunately. Well, then me, well, I like to watch some. Yeah, I don't see anything either. I'm just saying that's not a fajita. Oh, oh. you Looks were like talking what? as if as if there was a picture of it, like right there. Oh no. Sarcasm. Sorry. That looks like one hell of not a fajita. Yo, I think that's actually nachos. Oh dang. Anyways. Well, it's a dog in this away. cabin. I think he walked away, so I'm going to go walk away. You need to throw dog. I did not. I'll have to grab it in a second. Uh, let me like reorganize my setup real quick. Hold on. Like stuff everywhere now. I don't need this stuff. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. I need to get these off of that. I need to move this somewhere else. I need to move this over here. I need to move this gigantic make your own fajita right there. Yeah, it's leaking. It's a fajita. It's got sauce. Gross. What do you mean gross? Right. It's a piece of sauce. It's uh, a good I'll stuff. I'll put this like, there as well, I think. I don't know how to feel. This is lost in the sauce. Okay. Do 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 do. So. So. Oh. Oh, what's the day? <laughs> Weird. All right. Great talk. Nice. Wonderful. Scree! I wonder if someone will ever 
translate, understand the an the animal screeching that is Shadow Seamus. Okay, I'm so sorry about all this. I have no idea what's happening. There's also apparently cheese dip with it, and it has like this really weird aftertaste. Hmm. Well, he's kind of taking the sugar as a good place to eat. Yeah, Maria has some weird food. I assume this is like a make your own. Yeah, it look. I guess it's a make your own quesadilla or. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, you're supposed. To, I thought you were always supposed to make your own fritas. You know, put all the toppings and crap in there. Is this a make your own? Yeah, they just rolled it up really weird. Whatever. I'll figure all that later. I'll probably have to eat that cold then. I'm gonna turn off my fan. Ha. Now, back to what we were doing. Why did my music stop? What? It's supposed to be repeating. That's weird. Oh. Early. Yeah. yeah. Where were we again? Uh, I just walked. I just shouted myself in the cabin, but I have to go. We have to go now. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. My family had called me, so. Uh, Important thing. Oh shit. I suppose I'll. What do you find in a cabin? So, what you find in the cabin is essentially a sort of rest area. Numerous beds and a ton of supplies are in there. Okay. And then in the other cabins, you're able to find a tall. or not a sort of tall. a sort of cowboy-esque blue lizard that seems to be arguing with a druid. They seem to be yelling about stuff like international boundaries, bounty hunter laws, etc, etc. Namely, territorial dispute between the two of them. Uh-huh. And lastly, you see an area that contains a board with numerous bounties. Some of the biggest names on the list are as follows. The Magic Trio, 13,000 gold reward. On it is listed a picture of a warrior, a witch, and a large machine-like creature. Next is one titled Svengali, with a $15,000 or 15,000 gold reward. Wanted dead. Below is pictured one a image of a general who seems to be fighting in a war long past. You can go ahead and give me a history check to identify that. Uh, I'm away from my computer. I'm walking out of my house right now. Oh shit, my uh, bad. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it was an emergency thing. I'm ready to go. Yeah. You good for your phone? Uh, bye. Oh yeah. Bye. Alright. Okay. okay. Oh shit. Oh. Huh? These are the bounties that were in the house. He will port that back to you guys later. Damn. That was the most... Like... What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I guess session's over for now. Damn. Next week, you guys will have your first major boss fight. Oh, uh -oh. die. Nah, you'll be fine. Uh -huh. No one's. I mean, it hasn't been like everyone, someone hasn't been on the verge of death in almost every fight we've done so far. But, you know, it'll be fine. Have you tried not taking damage? Smile. Oh, yeah. I mean. That's what I got my shield for. True. Not wrong. 
But I guess I'll see you guys next week then. Alright. Apologies for like a super sloppy and weird session today. Oh, yeah, fine. That's good. You got to play, so that's all that matters. Making progress, making progress. Apologies to Gabe for not being allowed to play. What's your PFT? What is your profile picture, by the way, Gabe? What am I looking at here? I think it's getting a sandwich. Oh, yeah, shit. Then I'll simply ask him another time. Oh, yeah, he said he was going to step away from the computer. Wrong channel. Someone else stop it, I'm lazy. Ha <laughs> ha